best goalkeeper bumsi oh na nah, na don't don't take his name oh na nah, na nah, don't take his name <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I I really liked Raya at the start of the season. Like uh-huh. you guys know on this part, I really wanted Raya at United. Looks like he's going to Arsenal. Most clean sheets has definitely improved. I mean, he's had his like little slight of mistakes, but I feel like the defense in front of him like really helped him. Like the team structure, not enough chances being created, hasn't been tested to its limits. But yeah, I you know. It's good. It's good for him also. I think Raya gets the team of the season. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen a more consistent goalkeeper at the back this year. So Raya. Neil, do you agree? Um, I do agree, but it's becoming too biased on my end. I need to like sh- shake it up a little bit. You know what I'm gonna say? Uh, I'm gonna say the the keeper of the season is Stefan Ortega. I'll tell you why. Because uh, firstly, there have th- I mean, this has been the season where Edison's been out the most. Ortega has come in in a very difficult time and shown that, like you know, he is uh, um, he's the best second keeper there is in the Premier League right now, probably in the world. I mean, Lunin is really, really good for Real Madrid, but then uh, Ortega has been so good. Single-handedly, probably won Premier won the the league for City when he stopped that Son goal. I mean, it could be match fixing. We don't know, but <laughs> uh, there was a lot of there was a lot of money paid to the South Korean government. Yeah, um, and then Samsung <laughs> stocks are up. <laughs> uh, no, but like whenever he's been called and he's been superb, man. That he's been like he's had a level above Edison. I feel like. Some, uh, at some at some levels, and I feel like Edison wouldn't be able to stop that son shot. So I know the number of games is against my uh, pick here, but if just like impact from where you've been, imp- like the the star coming out of in the goalkeeper position is poss- possibly going to be um, uh, Ortega for me. The reason I'm not saying Raya here is because Raya has had some blunders, and he's been supported really well by probably the best. Center back pairing in the league for the last two three years. So yeah, and Declan. My reason completely. Agree. That. So. Yeah, I think Raya. The the good part about Raya is the fact that he hasn't been tested, and he hasn't been tested because of his collection. Like if he's, he basically kills the chaos before it it you know it giving him given a chance to actually brew. So that's the best part about him, and that's I I completely agree with Neeraj there that. In the moments when you feel like you know there's there'll be a difference making save, we haven't really seen that. He's been good, he's been consistent, but there hasn't been like a moment where oh okay yeah we remember this. Like for example, we Ramsdale everybody remembers that free kick save against uh, James uh, James Madison right against Leicester when we finished fifth in that season. Everybody remembers that because that was like a out of the blue save. Nobody was saving that. I don't think we've had that moment with with Raya yet. But I would give my shout to Martinez. I think. Uh, He saved some very important points for oh. for Villa. No, no, no. I was giving. I was going to give him. I, okay, so the real reason why I wanted to give it Martinez is because he did his best to you know make sure that Liverpool win and that Tottenham have a chance to play or have something to play against uh, you know uh, City. So for that reason, my shout. I mean, he beat us. Definitely going to be Martinez. He could have like let in three, four goals against that was, us. That was Unai Emery, dude. Like, yeah. don't But, do like you can't do that. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, yeah, sure. Like if you, you, it's a shout. Like if no one gets yeah. it, then sure. Yeah, it's no, a no. shout. I think, I think Martinez. I just don't think. Just don't think good. Yeah, he's been good, but I don't think like in the Premier League, Aston Villa has uh, uh, like he's even in the top three of Aston Villa's best players. But that's a no. I think I, you there. know, if you look at the stats, he's saved a lot of uh, XG goals against. Like he saved a lot of shots, he saved a lot of points for them. So it's not that he's he's not performed, but the point is like I don't think any any keeper has been of at, at Allison's level. What Allison has been in the past two or three seasons, like even himself, Allison himself hasn't been on that level. So I think the bar of keeping standards have come down a little bit in the Premier League, in my opinion. Like this this club, Sheffield let in like most number of goals, so it just says for itself like the overall quality of defense and uh, goalkeeping. But uh, having said defenders, sorry, Pamsi, you have something? Uh, as, as, as I was reading this like weird stat, goals prevented that you brought up, and I want to see who's at the bottom of that list. Take a guess, boys. Who's at the? Who's <laughs> let in more goals than they should have? It's in the negative. Oh no, nah, no. Nah. What's my name? 
Oh, no, no. Onana is actually fourth on the list. He's saved oh, wow. two goals more than he should have let in. Jose oh. is on top. Emilio Martinez is second. Neto is third. Onana is fourth. And guess Raya who's at fifth. the bottom? Uh, Raya. Jordan Pickford is fifth. Jordan Pickford is fifth. I think so we know what this stat is about. This stat is, is about how a shit your team is. How many shots yeah. they concede and like how many you can save out of that? That's this stat. It's nothing it's to do like with how many either. goals have you more let in than you should have? Pretty much for a goalkeeper. Like yeah, it, I mean this. Yeah, this, so XG basically XG conceded, right? Yeah. XG conceded versus XG save. XG yeah, minus XG yeah. yeah. XG minus XGC. Yeah. yeah. But this is also but who, who is at the bottom? Uh, <laughs> no, Pet- after Petrovic, bro. He's at minus eight point five. Oh, Chelsea boy. <laughs> <laughs> that that's a little crazy. This is below Burnley. That that's a little yeah. that's a little concerning. <laughs> My thing, think... what is crazy, bro? <laughs> yeah. I'm not a big. I think fan he also has a shit. Yeah. Just that. Yeah. yeah. I think most of the stats these days are just that to build up a narrative that you, that supports yours. That's it. Yeah, could be. I mean, for goalkeeper now, we should be testing a lot of other things. We should be testing passing accuracy. We should be testing positional play. We should be testing how many set pieces they come out and grab. So many other things. We should like. Combine all of this and and, and get the bro. Yeah. Uh, I'm see talk to Deloitte, bro. We need this stat. Ex goalkeeping. The... Ex goalkeeping. <laughs> I think it's there on FB Ref, by the way. Just Probably. At... You can Probably. Do all these like minuses yeah. and like all this all this mm. stuff on that. Yeah. Yeah. FB Ref. I think I had a so there's this website called Stathead. Uh, unnecessary plugin. Not getting paid by it. But uh, they take FB Ref data and they basically organize it in like really nice ways, so you can actually derive a lot of conclusions from uh, a lot of the data points that they have. Worth trying. Stat uh, head. Stat head. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, uh, I use data MB. Pretty good. Yeah. Like visual 